Okay, so I'm going to talk about how you can use Elementor to show different selections of your blog posts. So in this case, the caffeine teen teacher has some specific topics that she wanted to display a selection of blog posts just on those topics. So for example, I'm going to take her elementary math one and I've opened it up in a new window. And I'm going to go ahead and click edit with Elementor. And remember with Elementor, you were just building your web page with these little blocks they called elements. So this is just a image element and then this was a form element or rather in this case an HTML element that we embedded. And then this is just a text element. And then how you're going to adjust what articles show up is right here. This is called the post element. So in this case I am using just a regular skin. I did three columns and I wanted six posts per page. If you wanted to do more, you could just increase it, like I could do 12 posts per page here. I mean, you can really increase it to, you know, if you want all of them, just put nine, nine, nine. And that's basically just going to pull in everything. So I'm going to go ahead and set that so it pulls in pretty much all of her posts right there. You can go through each of these settings and just kind of play around with it. For the image size, um, I know that most of hers are kind of that Pinterest, so I have that marked there. But if you had square images, you could do square. Um, you could do a large thumbnail here if you wanted to. For hers, I just know that it was that vertical entry. If you, if the image still looks kind of funny, and I remember 1.51, you can still play around with that and see how that kind of just adjusts it. For her image size, which when you're doing your featured image on your blog post, always keep them the same size. It was that ratio of 1.51 that got her Pinterest size images looking. You could use to show or not show the title. Basically, you can just play around with all of these options. One of the other things you look at is the query. So for the query, I've told that we're including the following terms. And you can add as many terms as you want. So in this case, I wanted to add tags that are multiplication cubes, division shape math, math grades, one through five, etc. You can order by date, menu order, random, etc. And then pagination, right now I have nine, but maybe I want to view numbers. And so if I wanted to do, you know, instead of showing 999 per page, maybe I didn't want to just show six. So this time when I scroll down. So there's a variety of ways you can set it up. It does give you a little overview of some of the options.